Hi guys, how's it going? So, I know I said on the first video that I wasn't quite sure what was going to go into the channel, so it is, it's completely all over the shop so far. All I've done um, is the first video, the gaming video, but now today I'm going to be doing like a review video um, because I got this new e-cig a week ago and I just want to let you know what I think of it. So I've been smoking on one of these um, this is a blue cig um, pen style e-cig um, I've been using this one for about a year and a half um, on and off um, buying all sorts of different liquids for it buying replacement clearomizers for it and stuff like that um, and I decided that I wanted to upgrade on the e-cig that I was using because I found that this one wasn't really doing much for me, it wasn't really helping with what I was wanting to do, I was trying to give up the cigarettes and every two minutes I would be putting this down and I'd be like that's a load of rubbish and I'm going to go back to the cigarettes. So about a week ago I ordered this new e-cig um, and it arrived on the Saturday and I want to show you a couple of differences between them um, and what I like about this one. So this, um, when you puff on this, you're supposed to puff into your mouth and then inhale into your lungs like you would with a cigarette. But if you watch, it's, it's not the best. Nah. So, I decided to order one of these. Now, I've been watching a lot of videos online and I spoke to a couple of guys in the vapor shops about box mods. So, I found this one on the electrictobacconist.co.uk um, for £29.99. Um, this is my first ever box mod and I actually really like it um, I think I'll keep using it for a bit longer maybe start doing some upgrades get a new tank or a new battery or something like that because a lot of the batteries that the that you can get you can regulate the temperature on them you can regulate uh, how much electricity goes through your coil how, and that in turn um, makes your vapour production bigger and makes the, the hit into your lungs better to give you a more realistic feeling of like having a cigarette but it's an, a lot healthier alternative to smoking cigarettes is, um, is puffing on these e-cigs so this is the, the, va the Vaporize V-Box and it's a, a 40 watt box um, it's rechargeable, comes with like a charging cable and this one, because I bought it off the electric tobacconist, also came with a, a free bottle of liquid. So that was this stuff here. This is a pure evil liquid. Now, the liquids that you use for these box mods, I'm not a professional on it, so I don't know the complete story. Uh, I know that these are called sub-ohm vaping, um, which means that they produce bigger clouds. Um, you you inhale this straight into your lungs rather than taking it into the mouth and then into the lungs like you do with that other e-cig. So with this one it goes straight into the lungs and then you puff it straight back out again. So they have to make the liquids slightly different on them. They have to make the liquids a lower um, percentage of nicotine because obviously you're taking it straight into your lungs. Um, if you were to take a big like really high nicotine, I mean there's people out there that probably can take really high nicotine but for myself I take the lowest the lowest nicotine level that you can get so for this one it's three milligrams per milliliter of nicotine um, I actually loved this liquid, I've finished the bottle already um, I've had it for a week um, I've puffed it every day since I've got it and I've ran out so I had to go yesterday and buy some new liquids 
which I haven't tried yet because I had a little drop of this left in my tank and there's still I think I'll probably end up going dry after after I take a, maybe one more hit off of it and then I'll take I'll let you have a look at the other flavours that I bought so I'll show you what the difference is between this one and that other one um, this one is a lot better so you can see right away that it produces a hell of a lot more smoke or vapour, it's not smoke, it's vapour than what that other one did so that flavour there that came free um, you got a choice when you ordered it whether you want like what of I think it was about five or six different flavours now the flavours that I seen didn't really interest me apart from this one this one's called Sloth and it's they're basically the they're based on the Seven Deadly Sins so this one was Sloth and it was um, a mixture of seven berries which is really good I like the berry flavoured liquids um, I used to buy berry flavoured liquids for the other the other e-cig on it so this one was the one that sort of piqued my interest was the berry one the other ones were like strawberry custard and vanilla custard and apple and cinnamon tart was one of them and the other one that I seen was butterscotch ice I think but that one was the one that I fancied so um that one came free with it so yesterday I had to go and buy some more because I've run out which I'm going to try on camera for the first time because I haven't tried these yet so I'll let you know what I've got I'll get rid of this so I bought a bottle of Element Fresh Squeeze which I believe is orange flavour yeah, definitely orange flavour, so I haven't tried any of these yet, I'm going to give this one a wee go and see what it's like, let's see if that's enough in there, let it soak in a wee bit. Wow, that is very orangey and it's awesome. Um, it creates good clouds. This is a high VG mix, so anybody that knows anything about e cigs will know that the the liquids that they use are made up of your your VG, which is your your vegetable glycerin. Um, your PG, which is, I always say it wrong, so I want to check and make sure I say it correctly, uh, propylene glycol, and also like your nicotine and your flavouring. So your your propylene glycol, that's the stuff that gives you the hit in the throat, um, that makes it feel like a taking a, a draw of a cigarette, whereas the vegetable glycerin is a thick syrupy liquid that is what creates the big thick smoke clouds um, so the ones that you want if you're wanting to make big clouds you want to be looking for ones that are high in the vegetable glycerin so if you have a look here this one's 80% VG and 20% PG which means that it makes nice big thick plumes of vapour that's really nice um, so that was the fresh squeeze that's the orange one the other one I bought was another bottle of element but this one is pink lemonade and I've actually been smelling this one for the past day because I dripped a little bit off the bottle and it smells wicked but if you look this stuff's really thick and syrupy. I'm not sure if you can see that. But that's because this is also a high VG liquid as well. So this should make nice big clouds of smoke. Let's give this a wee drip into here. 
just a couple of drips just to soak in. And I'll give this one a go. We'll see what this is like. Again, nice big smoke. And yeah, definitely tastes like pink lemonade. It actually tastes like uh, pink lemonade look as it it's a uh, brilliant taste just like it <sighs> yeah I think that might be my new favorite <laughs> Uh, it's really good. Now, I bought these liquids from Vapor Frog. They opened up a Vapor Frog in Helmsworth, which is where I'm from, and they do. They were doing deals on them. Um, so these ones here were supposed to be three for forty pound, but I didn't like the look of the other flavours that you got with them, so. The, the the boy in the shop says he would do me a deal, um, so I took a bottle of this stuff. This is called Miss Pennyworth's Elixirs, and this one's Orchid Essence, which is apple, apple flavour, and it's, it smells like a sort of sour green apple. Um, let's burn all that out there. We'll get this. Give this one a go. That pink lemonade one is wicked. I think that'll be my new favourite one. Now the issue with this one, which I wasn't I never noticed until I left the shop, is that this one's a 50-50 mix. This one's a 50 mix, uh 50% VG and a 50% PG. Now I'm not a professional, like I've this is my first time buying one of these box mods, so I'm not sure. If it's going to make any difference, I'm hoping that it's going to be okay being a 50 50 mix because I was told that you really should be looking at getting ones that are higher, like a, a 70 30 or a, an 80 20 mix. So I'm not sure what this one's going to be like. I, I'm going to say that it's not going to produce as big a cloud on it, but I'm hoping that it's not just it's not going to break my box mod break my coil or whatever because that means I need to then wait to get new coils so I'll give this one a go and we'll see what happens oh that liquid in the mouth there it actually tastes very nice Cloud production's not bad for it, to be honest. It's um, better than I expected. The apple flavour is not as nice as what I was expecting, to be honest. You can definitely tell if it's apple. Um, I was hoping for like a sour apple kind of taste, but... Yeah, I mean it's okay, it's not the best liquid I've ever had, um, I had apple ones before that weren't very nice, but that one, it, it's okay, it's nice, um, but I, I don't like it as much as I like the orange one or the pink lemonade one, but I've got it there so I'll, I'll, I'll use it, I'll puff it up, so, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it's a bit of a different kind of video to, I never even said I was going to do review videos when I did my introduction my introduction video, but if you want to see more sort of videos like this, or more gaming videos, or challenge videos, then just let me know in the comments, um, and I'll consider everything, uh, this channel is going to be a bit of a mixture of everything, um, it's not going to be all vlogs, or it's not going to be all reviews, it won't be all gaming videos, not 
at the moment anyway. So let me know what it is you want to see. Leave me a comment, leave me a like, share the video if you liked it. And thank you all for watching. Cheers.